hey hey welcome to my channel if you have been here before welcome back and if it's your first time thanks for checking me out so i will warn you this is likely to be a longer video because i'm still considering this bag and i have a lot to say and i feel like it's helpful for me to do these videos um, when i first get a bag um, one because maybe it'll help someone else who's considering it and maybe going through the same thoughts and two it kind of helps me sort out my own thoughts about a bag if i'm not certain i'm going to keep it so as you can see i am showing the louis vuitton uh, cousin bag this is the pm size in the camel color and i saw this bag well, so this bag let's let me go through the evolution of thought when it comes to this bag a couple of years ago, I think when this bag was first launched, I saw the bag and I immediately was drawn to it. I loved it. I can't even really say why. I just felt like it was really different for Louis Vuitton. I really liked the um, the impressions of the LVs and the flowers and the just the print that was made in the leather. Um, I liked the colors that I saw. I saw a bunch of neutral colors and it just, I don't know, it just struck my fancy when I first saw it. And then I saw the price. And I think at the time it was 3,500 and I was like, uh, I don't know, a couple of years ago, just whatever headspace I was in, I was like, yeah, I'm not trying to do it. I don't love it that much. And so I kind of just took it off my radar. Then I saw, and I did, honestly, I didn't see really any influence. I didn't see this bag. I feel like it went MIA. And then I saw it again on, um, I think I was watching Sex in the City and I think someone had a red one on and I was like, oh my gosh, that bag. It's, it's, it came back to haunt me. I was like, I freaking love that bag. But I couldn't even say at the time why. And then um, some more time passed and I feel like about a year ago, yeah, it was when I had my, my daughter had her, her son, my grandson. Um, I was in a Louis Vuitton in another city and I saw it and I saw, I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, you know, I don't really, I don't, I don't like it that much. I was like, nah, I'm not feeling it. I think I saw it in a, maybe what it was, was it was like a couple of like off colors, like a lime green. And actually, I know I'm all over the place because I'm just thinking like word, word vomit, word dump. Um, the colors I saw, I feel like didn't appeal to me, which then made me feel like I didn't like the bag. And then I was feeling good about it. Like I love when I decide I don't like a bag and then it's not kind of stuck in my mind or stuck in my heart and feeling like I need to get it or it's gonna get away from me. So like I said, I was um, looking at it in person, didn't love it. And looking back, I think the reason I didn't love it is because it was in some kind of crazy colors that just aren't really my vibe. Fast forward a year later, um, here in my own city at the boutique that I regularly visit, I have a client advisor. And she, I, I don't know how we got into a conversation about the Kusin, but we did. And she was like, yep, I have two and I love it. They're my favorite bags. And I was like, really? Um, and I don't know what it was. I felt like I just kind of had a love-hate relationship with it. Like sometimes I would look at it and be like, yep, that bag is the bomb. Sometimes I would look at it and be like, oh, that bag is ugly. Like I, I, I know that people, I've watched a couple of videos and people say, you know, the reaction is either people love it or they hate it. And I felt, I feel like I've been both of those people. I've loved it and I've hated it. Um, but whenever I see it in person, I feel like I'm always seeing some kind of bright pink or green or blue or just crazy colors that I know are, you know, some people's vibe, but they're just not mine. I'm just more of a neutral kind of girl. So I saw this color in the smaller size recently. I think it's called the Pochette, the Cousin Pochette. Uh, and I had never seen that before. I don't even think I realized they made other sizes. I'd only ever really seen the larger size. And I loved the pochette. I put it on. I was. It was this color. It was this camel color. And I absolutely loved it. I got it home. I tried it on different outfits. And I loved it, loved it, loved it. I love the chain. The chain is really, really heavy and substantial. It's not flimsy. I mean, it has some weight to it. 
but this there was something about the size of the bag and I'm typically a mid-size to small bag kind of girl I love a crossbody that is just my jam but for whatever reason in this bag at that price point I think it was like 27 2800 I just couldn't swallow it and I don't even really know why I my guess is because I have so many smaller crossbody bags it was like one more for almost three grand just didn't sit well with me even though every time I put it on I was like I love this and honestly I don't know what your litmus test is for buying or keeping a bag but one of my I guess points data points for myself is I want to love it like I want to when I put it on I want to feel like this is that bag I want it to give me like you know that wow factor and it it had that I was like this is that bag I love it but again I just think that I have so many small crossbodies I just I couldn't I couldn't keep it so I ended up taking it back when I took it back, I exchanged it for another bag and I'm I'm going to apologize right now I can't remember the name of the other bag that it that I exchanged it for. Um it's it's um it's kind of like the Pochette Matisse except it's all leather and it's in the Lock Me line. And I don't know why I cannot think of the name of that bag, but it was all like a caramel color and in the store, I I'll be honest, I didn't love it but I liked it enough to take it home and try it on with a couple of outfits and the bottom line is it was a nice bag it was a beautiful bag it felt really nice and soft but I just wasn't wowed by it and if I can find the name or think of the name I'll put it in my description um, if you are a person who loves Louis Vuitton you'll know that it's something that just came out for like the fall line um, it's in a limited edition color I think they're only gonna have the color available for like six months um and like i said it looks like a pochette matisse it's a little smaller and it has the lock me it doesn't have the lvs all over it um so it's a little understated but it's all leather beautiful bag it just didn't wow me um i put it on with a few outfits and it was like yeah this would work but i don't feel amazed by it i don't feel super impressed so i took that back then i let <laughs> my CA tell me, I shouldn't say I'd let her, she told me, look, you have been eyeing the Kusin, you have been, you know, thinking about it for a while, you need to just order it and try it. She has the camel and she has the black. She was like, if I could, if I could only keep one bag in my Louis Vuitton Connect collection, it would be the Kusin. Then, um, one of her fellow CAs, who I call my backup CA, um, a guy that I also love at my local boutique. He comes out and he's like, Venetia, I'm gonna get the, um, I'm gonna go get mine because I have mine. So he goes get his, he brings his out. His is like, it's a color that I guess they just made like a one-off, so I don't even know the color. It was like blackish, grayish, graphite-ish, um, had some speckles and sparkles in it. It was really cool. Same PM size. He had had his for about six months and he was like, I, this is an everyday bag. I use it all the time. I put drinks in it. I do this in it. I do that in it. Cause I was like, do you baby it? You know, what's with this lambskin leather? Cause I have nothing that's lambskin leather. So tell me, you know, how you're using it, how you, if you baby it or do you just throw it around, wear it and put it to work. And he was like, I just put it to work. I don't baby it. Um, and that's when he was like, yep, I put a drink in the middle of it and yada, yada. So I was like, okay, okay. So your girl bought the bag. I've had it now for maybe, I don't know, four or five days. I've tried it with different outfits. I've tried it with different straps. I've tried it different ways. I've tried it as a clutch. I've tried it with the crossbody. I've tried it with the chain. I've tried it with a dress down outfit, a dressed up outfit, um, an in between outfit. And I'm still deciding. I feel 85% sure I'm going to keep it. And let me tell you why. So let's get up close and personal. What wows me about this bag is just the look of it. It, it really does have a wow factor, if you ask me. This cushiony kind of material, the lambskin, which I don't know much about lambskin. I don't have any lambskin. Um, this will be my first lambskin bag, so I don't know how it wears over time. Whenever I hear the term lambskin, I immediately think of Chanel. 
So, I, you know, I, I don't know how this is going to go. I was concerned and am still concerned that this poofiness, um, which I think is, you know, what cousin means in French is, is cushion or pillow or something like that. Um, will these kind of fade and will it look m more flat over time or what will it stay this way? I don't know. I will say in waiting a few years, the benefit I got was um, the new model. It doesn't have that tab that it had. If you see some of the older models, it has this like tab that was over here. They went ahead and took that out because I think a lot of people complained about it. To me, it gives it a more sleek design. It's just this kind of square with nothing kind of protruding. I prefer that. So yeah, I paid a little more than I would have a couple of years ago if I would have pulled the trigger, but I do feel like I got um, the better model of the two. And like I said, I looked at all, I don't know if I said this, but I looked at all the sizes. I brought home the, the pochette. I tried on the, um, oh shoot, what's the other cousin called? I think it's called the BB. I tried that one on in store in black. Right now the BB only comes in two colors and they weren't colors that I wanted. So I had to scratch that. Plus I didn't love how the um, crossbody strap was. I tried the PM, which is what this is. And then I tried the MM. The MM is astronomical, it's huge. Um, I, honestly, this is kind of a big bag too, but it's it's almost like artwork. You know, to those of us who love Louis, this combines the love of Louis with just a really sleek, sleek and kind of modern design. It's not a really, it's, I don't know, this is a medium bag. Is that what I wanna say? It's, it's a medium size bag. You wouldn't want to overstuff it, but you could. You could stuff it. Um, it's, yeah, it's not small. It's not too large. It's a little larger than I would prefer. And I'm like, man, am I going to buy this? And then they're going to come out with one that's just a little bit smaller that I'm going to love. Hopefully not. Um, and if they do, hopefully I'm just so satisfied with this that I don't care. But yeah, it's just a really cool bag. I love this kind of like accordion kind of bag. And I do think that you're getting a lot of, you know, versatility in this bag. I'm still deciding how I feel about this guitar strap. I'll tell you what I do like about it is that it's the same color of the bag. Like that tone on tone is, I like that. I'm glad that it's not some other color. I even like that this little leather part is the same color of the bag because I also tried on the, um, hmm, it's not gray, it's like a grige. I'm not really sure, is it like a taupe? I think it was a taupe, which was, I did like the taupe, but the strap had a different, I feel like it was like brown. I should have taken a picture. The strap was what was throwing me on the taupe, otherwise I would have probably bought the taupe um, because I wanted something that would go with everything. So anyway, I'm still deciding on this strap. What's cool about this strap is you can give this bag a more dressed down version um, or a more dressed down vibe, I should say. You can also, of course, dress it up with this chain. Um, this chain to me is really what makes this bag special. And then you can carry it as a pouch. I'm not sure I would carry it as a pouch very often because when you do that, of course you're grabbing it here. And then I feel like over time that will make the bag misshapen. So that's not something I plan to really do, but it is an option for those who would want to do that. I think another wow factor about the bag is the interior colors. Um, and so let's get into the inside. You've got these three interior pockets, the one on the side, the one in the middle, and the one in the back or, you know, vice versa. Um, in this one, it's just kind of a blue, so it's not popping. I I guess that's my one gripe is I wish it was red on the interior. I love, love, love a pop of red on the in inside of a bag. It just brings you a small amount of joy. I think I've said that in my other videos. I think it's just, I don't know, it's a cool feature. So I'm not wowed by the interior color here and it's gonna make it a little harder to find things is my suspicion. Um, I did try to like wear the bag for a little bit with like an outfit. I haven't taken it out and about yet, 
but I think what I'll end up doing is leaving this interior zip pocket open just because I don't like to fuss. So fussing with one zipper is one thing, but then to have to open another is another thing. So either I'm going to leave it open or I just won't put anything in it or I'll only put things in it that I need to grab every now and again. But on some of the other color um, colorways, you get a different kind of interior color. I think that's really cool. I think that Louis did a good job at, in thinking about this bag and thinking about, you know, making it as versatile as possible, making it appeal to as many people as possible, making it a kind of cool modern bag, but not too trendy. I feel like it's like right between trendy and classic because you've got this classic exterior color. If you want a little more trend to that, you can just pick a really cool color they've got available. And then you can get that really cool color on the inside. But like I said, I didn't get a really cool color. So, I mean, the blue is just, it's just meh. It's not, it doesn't take away from the bag though. So more than anything, this this video is like a, a, a an opinion video, a first impressions kind of video. Um, I haven't had it long enough to really say too much that probably hasn't already been said. This is just kind of my thought evolution in how I came to buy this bag. Um, price, you know, it's pricey. I mean, I think if you if you're in the market for a bag like this, you already know it's pricey and you've already decided you're willing to spend that money. I I hate talking about money, but you know, we all work for money. That's what we're <laughs> We go to work to make money and we want to enjoy our money while we're here to enjoy it. It's not going to the grave with us. So we want to be smart with it and do the things that we need to do as responsible adults. But we also like to treat ourselves and we all treat ourselves in different ways. So it was worth it to me, obviously, to get the bag. It may not be worth it to some. Just depends on what's going on in your life. Um, I really hate, I love being a part of the bag community. I hate the topic of money and cost and worth. I hate when people leave comments about what else you could be doing with your money. We all could be doing lots of different things with our money. Um, it really is just up to us. We're the ones who have to work for it to earn it. And we're the ones that, you know, need to enjoy it and do what we feel we need to do with it. Um, people who are saying, I've seen lately these little short videos on, mostly on YouTube. I don't see too much of this on Instagram, but people making videos about, you know, it's Louis Vuitton is focused on or targeting poor people. It's so, I don't even know that I'm offended to hear it. It's just stupid. It's just people being ignorant um, who really don't know much about much, in my opinion, um, but they're trying to just make content and get subscribers likes and, and views and they're probably just echoing something they've heard somebody else say and they really know nothing about it um that's how I feel about it I don't like the label of poor you you don't know what someone is just by what you the tiny little bite size um touch points you see online um you know nothing about their life so anything you're saying is an assumption and what rich people do is not the blueprint for what everybody should do, what quote unquote rich people do. So I guess that's all I'll say on the topic of money. I bought it. I like it. And that's what I wanted to do with my money. So that's that. Um, it's an expensive bag. So it just depends on if it's if it's in your budget to get and if you like it, because I know some people don't. And I'm still just deciding, do I like it enough? And I think what what makes me like it is the chain. You know, I have a lot of, this is the thing, I have a lot of everyday luxury bags, what I would call everyday luxury. This is that grown and sexy. That's what I feel like this is. This is that grown and sexy bag, that bag you pull out, you know, for nights out, you take this strap off and you wow them. You wow yourself and you wow, you wow the people, right? Um, and then if you want to make it an everyday luxury bag, you've got this strap and you can, you can do that. Some people call it a mom vibe. Uh, that's, that's fine. Whatever you want to call it. This is the strap that I feel like I don't know goes with this bag. I see it on some other people, but when I see it and I like it on other people, it's people that are taller, that are thinner than me. It really looks good on them when this strap on me, I'm still debating. What I will tell you 
is that strap looks really good on my Speedy um, 20 Damier Bin. And so if I do keep it, I feel like that's a bonus is that it comes with these two straps. You can mix and match on this bag and then you can also mix and match on other bags that you have that you like it and feel like it, you know, it works and it fits. So that's, that's kind of a bonus. That's kind of a cool factor about the bag. Mostly I see when I've tried it on with different outfits, I see myself wearing it with this with this uh, this chain that some people are putting on as a necklace. I tried it guys, it's not for me. First of all, the metal made my skin instantly feel weird and I almost felt like I was kind of having an asthma attack. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is not gonna work. Plus it's like really big and chunky and I don't know that that really works with my style. So not gonna be able to use it as a necklace, but again, that's what some people are doing, it's an option. Real quick, I'm gonna put some things on the inside if I can get my husband to come over here and hold the hold the phone. While it is a larger bag that I feel like you could stuff, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit of a minimalist, which is why I'm moving away from larger bags. Um, so I don't carry a whole lot from day to day. I'm only gonna put in here what I really would carry. This bag for me is more of a statement piece. It's not about the size. I don't need it because I have tons to put in it. And my suspicion is that if you overstuff it over time, it will probably mess up some of the, um, what do we call this? This is embossing. So, I, I, and I can't say that for sure, but it's just my suspicion. So I wouldn't wanna overstuff this bag. I like it for the visuals of it. I like it for the aesthetics. I like it for the statement that it makes. And to me, it's like wearing art and it's art that I like. It might not be like, you know, liked by all, um, but it's on my body and I like it. So that's all that matters to me. So I'm going to try to find my husband, get him to hold this camera while I put some things in here. You got it going? Okay. All right. So this is some sunglasses. And what I like about these is they pretty much go with everything. And they have this poofy pouch, which is squishy and not a hard pouch like a lot of my Ray-Bans. So I will toss that in the middle. I've got these Lumi um, personal wipes that I will also probably toss in the middle. I really like this um, Christian Dior lotion because it's nice and flat, so I think it's perfect for um, this bag. Unlike the one from uh, Dior, I think it is, or no, no, Chanel. Oh my gosh, this one's from Dior. The one from Chanel, which is like that round egg. I don't think I would want to put that in here. I've got some touch-up makeup that I'll throw in. This is the wallet I'm using now. And when I first got this, I was like skeptical. Um, but I, I, I bought this for a bag that wasn't going to fit any other kind of um, wallet that I had at the time. And I end up loving this. It's the Recto Verso, and it's just one of my favorite wallets to use. You've got a pocket there, you've got these in the back, you've got a zip um, compartment, and it works as a, uh, like a key pouch as well. So, not a key pouch, like a, you can put your keys on it and just let them dangle, or you can like clip this to your belt. So it's one of my favorite wallets, um, card case, I should say. So I will put that in here. Um, I have my scent of the day, my jo, jo Malone Wild Achillea Cologne. I love this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I'm going to throw that in there. I've got this little pouch, which has some additional little um, toiletries, and it's got some medicine that I keep in here, or vitamins, I should say. I'm going to put that in there, and then my key pouch from Gucci. Also something that I love, just a little small SLG that gives me joy to use. And so I'm gonna put that in there. And I've not really organized these things, I just wanted to get them in um, so you can see. It's actually, in my opinion, already pretty stuffed. Um, not sure I would put much else in here. And then that is how it looks now. You see it's kind of opened up this accordion part um, and let me take off the strap and you see 
man, yeah, this is pretty, this is as much as I'd want to carry, to be honest. Um, and I'd want to make sure it's equally balanced. So it's a lot, you know what, you guys, this is a lot to do to kind of handle this bag. Maybe over time, I wouldn't care so much. Um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't put too much more in here. And I would probably make sure that it's packed appropriately so that not one side is more full than the other. But this right here is how I feel I would want to wear it. You have the bag for me to keep it in there. Okay. Can tell me when you go. Go. So I think that's a good place to end, guys. This is just early impressions, first impressions, first thoughts. Like I said, I'm 85, 90% sure I'm gonna keep the bag. I love the color. I love the embossing, the print, how it feels, how it looks. I love that you're basically getting, I don't know, is it three bags in one? You're getting a pouch, you're getting an evening bag, you're getting a crossbody bag. You're also getting a crossbody bag that you could, it's already kind of embellished or you can take that off. And then, of course, you're getting additional embellishments for your other bags because, as I said, I put this on the um, Speedy B uh, 20 Damier Abin. And no, not the, was it the Damier Abin or did I put it? On? You know what? I take that back. I put it on my monogram. I think I put it on both, but I, the one I liked it the most on was the Speedy B monogram. It looked really good. And then, of course, you're getting this embellished chain that you can put on all kinds of things, your pochette accessories, pochette accessoire, however you want to say it. Um, I haven't thrown it on any other bags, but I'm sure, you know, you can mix match and play around. So um, hopefully this was helpful in helping you think about this bag. I know that Louis Vuitton um, has a, well, I shouldn't say I know. One of the client advisors told me that within the next 30 days or so, um, price increases happening. You know, they're never really telling you exactly when it's going to happen. Um, so I'm not in the know as far as exact date, but this has already seen a couple of price increases. And my guess is it's going to see another here in the near future. So, you know, it's the newer model. The tab is gone. Um, I think it's a great bag. I think it's like a piece of art, you know, you're carrying around on your shoulder. It's really cool. And yeah, um, like I said, I'm about 90% certain I'm keeping it. Um, and if I do, which I should pretty sure I am, I will come back in a few months, three to six months and, and let you know, um, how I feel about it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.